OBS Nation. Welcome back to another episode of Pop Gumbo, where we're talking what's popping in pop culture. I am Dr. Tachi. Let's get to it. What's the hottest ticket in town lately? AI, of course. We see it everywhere, whether it is writing a blog post or creating images. Everybody seems to want to get their hands wet in the AI swimming pool. Well, there are also downfalls to it, and there have been, of course, concerns with AI replacing jobs and taking other people's creativity. And in this case, we're talking music. There's an open letter that was signed by a group of 200 musicians that urges tech companies not to let AI undermine artists' creativity. Now, if you take a look at some of the 200 musicians who signed this open letter, it reads like a literal lineup for Coachella and I would stand out in the desert to go see them. Let me give you an example of some of the people that signed this. We're talking Billie Eilish, Katy Perry, Elvis Costello, Greta Van Fleet, Pearl Jam, Sheryl Crow, Nicki Minaj, and more. Now let's talk about what the letter says. It reads like this. When used irresponsibly, AI poses enormous threats to our ability to protect our privacy, our identities, our music, and our livelihoods. Some of the biggest and most powerful companies are without permission using our work to train AI models for working musicians and songwriters and artists who are just trying to make ends meet. This would be catastrophic. And essentially they're right. So let's talk about how AI works. AI doesn't just pull things out of the air that it came up with. It's trained using things that already exist. So that means it's scrubbing data sources from all over the place, including the web that uh, takes existing data and comes up with something. Albeit maybe new, it's coming up with something. But that's still taking information that is already out there. That belongs to someone else. Now, there are some companies like Adobe and Stability AI that are working on making AI music generators that use royalty-free and licensed music. But even these type of tools could impact artists who make, for example, beats that other artists might license or scores for television commercials. Well, why is this such a big deal? Because after all, we all want tools to help us make our lives easier, right? We have to look at the music industry and traditionally what's happened. They, musicians have traditionally always gotten the short end of the stick. First, it was file sharing. Remember illegal Napster and LimeWire where users were sharing music files? All right, well, streaming then came and they thought that was going to cut down on that. iTunes, which is now Apple Music, came about and for like 99 cents you could buy one of the songs. So we thought that was going to solve the problem. But did it really solve the problem? Payouts from streaming are so low. In fact, the Union of Musicians and Allied Workers, the UMAW, has spent years working to secure better streaming residuals for artists. In fact, artists that are in the guild estimate that the average streaming payout is, let me get this right, 0.0038, or about a fourth of a cent. Sheesh. Now, this is not the first time that this has happened. Over the summer, in July of last year, 15,000 writers took to writing an open letter which alleged the same thing when it came to written works, books, etc. So we're only going to see more of this when it comes to AI and creativity. And let me tell you what else was in that letter. This assault on human creativity must be stopped. We must protect against the predatory use of AI to steal professional artists' voices and likenesses, violate creators' rights, and destroy the music ecosystem. Now you know I definitely want to hear from you. Write below what you think about AI and musicians. Do you think that AI is really a threat to music as we know it? Or is this just another thing to add to our toolboxes of knowing how to use it so that it benefits us? Write it down below. Well, Nation, that's all I have for you today. 
I enjoyed being here with you immensely and I hope you had a good time too. Make sure that you're not only following me, but that you are following all the TKBS correspondents because we have great content for you. Make sure that every Tuesday you are locked into the TKBS podcast, which is available on all major podcasting platforms and YouTube. And guess what? If you love the episode, you can talk more about it on Tuesday nights with Tiffany and Michelangelo and the gang on the TKBS Instagram account. What else? Oh yeah, the dream is real. <laughs>